Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a continuation on from my last video. I'm sorry, it's like two weeks late. I got sick and I pushed back my filming time and we just have some of those weeks where we're just like drained and I just couldn't get myself to film the video. But here it is. Last video I shared how I film my YouTube videos and how you can too. And today I'm gonna share how I edit my YouTube videos. It's gonna be, you know, the basics. Whichever program you decide to use, you gotta learn, you know, how to use it. That's on you but I will be sharing the tips on how to kind of structure everything so it can be easy and just, you know, you won't forget about things. So let's get into the video. So if you're filming with the camera, you're gonna wanna have a computer on hand to edit. And if you decide to film on your phone, well, you can do the editing right on your phone also. As you can see here, there's a variety of different apps you can use, some that are free, some that have upgraded versions that you can purchase. I would recommend experimenting with a free version and just see what you can do with it. When using your computer, I'd recommend an external hard drive uh, that's gonna help with storage or an SSD that I need one of those ASAP and then also putting in your SD card into the computer. So at the start of my YouTube journey, I used iMovie. I was an iMovie girly, but now I use Adobe Premiere Pro. I think I've been using it since 2018. But yeah, I just start by compiling all the clips I know I'll need and putting that into the timeline. All right, the first thing I do is a rough cut. So this is basically just skimming through all the clips, you know, deleting any clips I know I messed up in and I know I won't need. Um, I cut out any parts that I'm not talking. So like you can see the little waveform sometimes in the clips and if there's nothing there, I'll just cut out that part. Simply just cutting out the beginning and the end of clips, all that good stuff. Next, I go through a detailed cut. So a little bit similar to the rough cut, but as the name, detailed. This is pretty much deciding the outline of my video. Sometimes if I said the same sentence like three times, I have to decide which one is best. Even down to cutting out little pauses in breaths that I'm taking to say the next sentence sentence, very little things to make it clean and you know rearranging clips, inserting pictures. For a video where I need voiceovers, I'll use the Blue Yeti microphone. This one is great. I'm using it right now. <laughs> and next, I like to add music. Right now, I'm using Thematic, just the free version. The reason I'll add it now is because if there's a video like a montage where I want to match my clips to the music, you know, matching the cuts, then I don't have to go back and like re-edit everything. But yeah, for music, you always want to think about it being copyright free to follow the YouTube guidelines. Do you have to subscribe to a service? Is it going to be free? So when I get the song that I want or songs, plural, for my video, I like to change the audio levels. So when the music is under clips of me talking, I'll put the music lower so that you can hear me talking clearly. And when there's no talking, I will bring it up higher so that, you know, it kind of stays level. It can be tricky sometimes to find that good spot of like your music not being too loud and then your talking clips not being too quiet, but you know, try your best. I don't know, I've had times where music has just been way too loud over talking clips. So just to be safe, keep it down a little bit lower than you think you should. Next, I like to think about what text or titles I may want or need in my videos. And I usually keep this really simple. Along with this comes with any effects or transitions in between your text or your clips. I think one of the more common and subtle ones is the cross dissolve. You don't have to go too crazy with different fonts, different colors, or using all the different kinds of effects your editing program or app may have. And the last thing I like to do is mess around with the lighting or color of clips. You do not need to do this at all, you know. Sometimes if there's a clip that's too dark, you can just bring up the exposure a little bit. If it's too bright, bring it down. If a clip is too warm, make it a little more blue, more cool. I find my filming is not cohesive in any way at all, so Sometimes just tweaking little things like this just brings it all together and I don't know, makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> I always make sure I rewatch my video a few times. I usually like to rewatch it after I make certain edits, but making sure that everything is the way that you want it to be. You didn't like accidentally leave a clip in there or, you know, just being safe. Then it'll be time to export for the world to see. Now, I think in different apps, the export settings may be a bit different. For Premiere, you want it in H.264 and then you want it to be exporting in 1080p. So from our last video, remember, we want it to record our videos in 1080p. We also want to make sure we're exporting our videos in 1080p if we shot in 1080p. After this, I like to create my thumbnail, rewatch the video, one more time and then upload it to YouTube. So hope you enjoyed these two little how to film and how to edit your YouTube videos. I know it's a little bit different. I've never done something like this before, but thought I'd share. Stay tuned for my upcoming videos. 
I'm not really sure what's in store, what I plan to film, but you know, make sure to click the notification bell if you want to be notified and I will catch you next time. Bye!